Mr. Meat, I want to buy from you a large piece of juicy and fresh meat. Hi, Granny. Fresh meat costs five hundred dollars. But it's too expensive. I don't have that much money. If you don't have money, then get out of here. But what if I leave you, Baldy? When I bring the money, you will return the Baldy to me. Good offer. I agree. Baldy, come here. Oh, hi. Baldy, you will temporarily live with Mr. Meat. I will come for you later. <laughs> hey Baldy, I have a cool lab. Let me show you. Mr. Meat, I brought the money. Where is my Baldy? Hi, Granny. I knew you were coming for Baldy. I want you all to come to me for tea. I have not had guests for a long time. I will gladly agree. Will you return Baldy to me? I think you want to trick us. Granny, I never cheated anyone. I just want to treat you to tea. And then I'll give you back the baldy. Okay, I will believe you. But if you are deceiving me, you will regret it. I'll go to the kitchen, bring some food. Where's the toilet? I'm gonna pee on the couch. <laughs> the toilet must be somewhere in the house. I want to look for the toilet. What is this place? Oh no, this is Bali. Oh, hi. Baldi, where have you been? Why weren't you when we arrived? Mr. Meat locked Baldi in some kind of laboratory. He wanted to turn Baldi into a pig. You fooled me. We are leaving here. You won't see us any more, miserable bastard. I will find you all.
I need to find a Baldi. He must be here somewhere. Well then, I'll just wait here. Why is it so noisy? I have to go see what happens there. Hi Granny, didn't expect to see me. What the hell are you doing here? I come to take your lives. <laughs> I did not think that everything would be so simple. Oh, hi. Dumb neighbor, and why did I take him with me? will come to me. until Baldi comes after you. Grandmother in the fridge, not frozen. <laughs> so what are you going to do a freak? <laughs> Vain did you come to me all alone. Now, I have even more meat. So, they went to Mr. Meat? How tired I am to go here. It is necessary to buy a bike so as not to walk.
Who are you? What do you want? We need to find Granny and get out of here. We must bring her home. Everything will be fine with her at home. Thanks for saving me, Jason. I'm proud of you, son. It's my duty to protect you, mother. Kaylofer. Oh, hi. Come on, Grandma and Jason are gone. We need to find them. <laughs> What's going on here? What is the occasion of the holiday? My son Jason has arrived. Are you blind or what? Why didn't you call me and Bobby at the table? Because I have long forgotten about you. <laughs> hey Maron, take off that stupid hockey mask already. How will you eat? Or maybe I'd better kill you again? Stop, Jason. No need to joke like that. And who said it was a joke? Did you see it? This dumb one can't even walk normally. Slendrina, what have you done to my boy? It's all because of you. Get out of here. Come on, Baldi. Granny wants to be with her son. My kids. Family meeting. Quick here. My kids, I gathered you here to say that we should temporarily leave the house. Mr. Meat promised to return and take revenge. There is one safe place. We will go live with Grandpa. Hi kids. I am your grandpa. Please love and favor. You will temporarily live with me, and therefore everything will be in my house according to my rules. Do you understand? Is he drunk? Oh, hi. <laughs>
Welcome to the crazy house. Why did we come to this old man? Mr. Meat has become very dangerous. We chopped off his head, but this did not kill him. He will return again. I can defeat him. He's just a fat, clumsy dumbass. We cannot take this risk. You do not underestimate him. This old man locked Baldi in a cage with specs. Oh no, he wants to kill our Baldi. <laughs> what do you want to do with him, old idiot? This is my Baldi. He is not from our family. I have to kill him. This is my Baldi. I brought him, not for you to kill him. <laughs> Baldi, what are you standing there? Go with me. This old woman is completely crazy. Damn, who slammed the door so hard? Damn it, how did you find us? I'm losing consciousness. Catch me. I'm falling. Hey, horse face. How do you like my new invention? Wow, what kind of creature is this? This is Mr. Meat's first experiment. He used to make horses out of people after a successful experiment. Mr. Meat began to make people a pig. What will we do with him? Perhaps today we will have horse meat for dinner. Why do you want to close it there? This cell not only kills by piercing with spears, but also breaks bones well. It will be nicer to eat. Oh no, the horses had killed everyone. Then why did I survive? Why are you screaming? I almost crap. I thought the horse had killed you all. What happened? 
Everything is fine. He successfully tested my new trap. It would be better if his name was not a horse's head, but a donkey's head. <laughs> we must get rid of his body. If his friends find out that we killed him, we will not live a day. What was that sound? Everything is fine. I just fell out of bed. God, what a fool he is. What the heck? Here you are with the asshole. How glad I am that you are a corpse. Who the hell are you? What have you done to my boy? I am Freddy Krueger. And I lost my hat. Pleased to meet you. To be continued.